back. You are listening to Local Biz Now. This is a section of our program we call Coach's Corner. And there is no better person to lead this than my buddy and co-host, Wayne Bottleman, business and marketing strategist to coaches all over the area, all over the Vils. Take it away, buddy. Well, thanks, Joe. Today's Coach's Corner question, it's actually, I I pulled it off a forum that I uh, participate in online um, that come up with business questions, and this is a good one. We've talked about it somewhat before. It says, I am currently working for a large company, and I've been working on my own business on the side, more like a hobby. I'm, I'm debating whether to run my own business full-time or to keep my job with all its risks. Is it safer to run my own business or continue to work for a larger company? That is a tough question. <laughs> I guess the first thing I would say you have to recognize the high failure rate of startup small businesses. It doesn't mean you will, but it means you better be totally, brutally honest with yourself as to the likelihood of being successful in a small business before you make the plunge. So I would say that first. Secondly, I'd say, because we've talked about this before, actually it's something that you kind of taught me, Joe, that, I, that I've decided I agree with, which kind of hurts me, but, mm. uh, and that is that a great way to start a small business is to have a paying job while you're starting the small business because then you've got cash flow, you've got income while you're testing out your business. And this example at least sounds like this guy has been kind of testing out his small business while he's got an actual job. So he should have a better feel than someone that hasn't even tried their business idea yet as to whether it's going to be successful or not. So I'd suggest they're probably three questions you have to ask yourself first of all is there a demand for what the product or service that you provide you ought to know that by now even if you've been running as a hobby is it a big enough market to make a business out of so you might have to do some homework and then are you going to have the cash reserves for even a worst case scenario break even point with your small business now i would suggest if the answer is no keep your job If the answer is I don't know, I'd continue with my job and continue my small business as a hobby. Then if you get, if for whatever happens, you get fired from your job, at least you've kept your business going and you can then actually out of out of frustration perhaps or or uh, something that you have to do, you start up your small business and see if you can make a go of it. So bottom line, if you think your small business can succeed, go for it. If you're not sure, keep your job. If you have determined that it isn't any good, really keep your job. Otherwise, continue it as a hobby and see if it makes sense. What are your thoughts, Joe? Well, uh, the, the, the word here that bothers me is hobby. Whenever a man defines his business as a hobby, I'm pretty much, and, and again, that's the tough problem I have because most of my advice always comes through my experiences. So uh, I need to know the details because details matter. Let me say that again. It, it details does. matter. I agree with you. But in this case, the word hobby, I'm going to tell you, if a man used the word hobby to define what he's doing, that means there's two things he's not spending enough of, and that's time and money in this business so there's no way i would advise a guy that's defining what he has as a hobby well he's got another job and frankly that's one of the problems you know usually to start a business you're working 24 by 7 to get it going if you got a new job you're not doing that so you know i gave him the benefit of the doubt that when he says you did you gave him a lot more credit than i'm willing to do but that just means he hasn't been able to spend full time on it right well but i now i'm going to give him a little bit of advice after i just smacked him on top of the head for using the word hobby but Now I'm going to tell him, keep your job, keep your job, keep your job. I want you to go find somebody and hire somebody to do the things you would like to do that you think would increase the business so that in your mind it will go away from being a hobby. I'd like to smack him if he was in front of me and turn it into a business, even if it's a small business. And here's what happens. Just like the marketing you and I talked about earlier, If he can hire somebody and have them implement some ideas that he has that he thinks he would do if he was not working, and and even if 50% of those things work, then we'll know that he's got something that he can move and grow on. If he can't get somebody else to do even 50% of what he can do, he probably doesn't have a business and he needs to keep working for the man. That's what I think. I think that's a good point, Joe. Okay, that's So what you meant to say was exactly. I don't want to give you too much credit. 
But anyway, that was today's Coach's Corner question. If you've got some business questions you'd like us to discuss, let the station know and we'll be happy to do it.